Katrina. I'm really glad to see you here again this week. How have you been? Same old. Same. Sorry. You seem really down. Did something happen? Or did you, I know we went through a lot last week with your assessment, um, and we brought up a lot of things, you know, uh, your father's murder and um, some of the other things you've had happen to you over the last few years. Um, that was a lot mm -hmm. to start using again. That's the only thing that's going to make me feel better. I'm thinking about when my dad got shot. I had to go back to using it. Mm -hmm. Started having dreams again. And I said, no, I got to use it again. I was being so good. Like, I used it again. No. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it sounds like this week was really overwhelming for you as far as the memories and yeah. the only way for you to cope with all of that was for you to go back to using heroin. That's the only thing that made you feel better. Mm -hmm. Made you forget. Mm -hmm. So that's some of the things that you like about heroin is it helps you forget all of those bad things um, that happened to you. What are some of the other things that you like about using? This makes me feel good. I don't feel anything. I just, ah, just feel so relaxed. It feels really good and I don't have to think about it. Or if I do, it's just like whatever. So it makes you feel better about yourself. It gets rid of all of the negative memories. Yeah. It helps relax you when you're stressed out about Oh yeah, that's things. why I love doing it. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you have a lot of reasons for why continuing your use of heroin would be a good idea. Um, are there any things that maybe aren't so good about heroin? Things that make you not want to use? Yeah, I could get arrested again. I'm gonna make their strike. I don't want to get caught again. Mm -hmm. So being arrested and put back in jail is something that you're concerned about. Very concerned. I'm gonna be locked up for life. No, no, ain't gonna happen. But I gotta use it to make me feel better. So what do I do? So on the one hand, using kind of puts you in risky situations that puts you at higher risk of being arrested and going away for life. But on the other hand, using is the only thing that makes you makes you able to go through each day and you're, and you're not really ready to give that up yet. Mm -hmm. It must be really hard. It is very hard. I have to deal with this all the time. Being scared when I'm using it. I see the cops around. Mm -hmm. Hell no. What's it like for you having to come and see me? I don't know, if this is someone I can talk to. <sighs> to talk about things that I've been through. But I'm still using. Mm -hmm. I have to imagine that it's really hard for you to come here and talk about stopping your use and doing all those things. There has to be 10,000 other things you'd rather be doing. Yeah, right it's now. embarrassing. I'd rather be using. I'd rather go back. Mm -hmm. But what keeps you here is knowing that you're on probation certain things you have to do so that you don't get arrested so you don't violate your probation and you don't get arrested again I guess mm -hmm. so what do you think has to happen here for us to show your PO that you know you're doing what you're supposed to and you're getting better so that you don't have to come here anymore I guess I'm gonna stop using it mm -hmm. I don't know what else to do mm -hmm. on a scale from 1 to 10 1 being that you don't think it would be possible for you to stop using at all, and 10 being that you think stopping your use is completely possible, where do you think you fall on that scale right now? I so want to, I want to stop, but I can't, so I'm going to say I'm like a four, because I really want to just keep using still. But, mm. So you, you feel like you're a four, which, which tells me that you that you have the motivation, that there's certain things that are pushing you towards reaching that goal. Because um, you're not you're not a one, you know. You're you're saying that there is some hope and there's there's that you do have things that are motivating you. But I also hear that you're not a ten, which means which means there's a lot of obstacles in your way as far as reaching that goal. Some of the things that we already talked about. What do you think it would take for you to go from a four to a five? Those memories of my dad would go away. 
So finding other coping mechanisms other than your drug use would help you use less. I guess. Cut it! I said, hey! Damn! I like that one. That yeah, was that great. was really good. That was great. I set you up too. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>